Hello and welcome to another episode of Embrace Your Outdoor Space. My name is Tommy Cross and in this episode we are going to be looking at our batteries and in particular the runtime of each battery. Now what do I mean by runtime? It's essentially the runtime of the battery across different machinery. Now a lot of us are embracing the convenience of lithium power. Now with the advancements of battery technology it's no surprise that many of us are migrating away from the fog of fossil fuels and embracing battery power but how long is this going to run? when it comes to my garden machinery? Well, we're gonna put it to the test. Now, when it comes to putting these tools to task in your outdoor space, it's nice to know that no matter how much the grass is growing, you've got plenty of power to tackle your mowing. Everything's gonna be filmed in real time, which is great for me, because I'm actually doing something not so great for Ryan, who's holding the camera. We're gonna try and get as many shots as possible so you can see just how long these tools will last. First up, we've got our four amp hour, 24 volt battery, and we're going to be running that consecutively cutting using our 33 centimeter 24 volt Greenworks mower. Now, throughout the whole of this video, the mower has been under load. It has been actively cutting the grass. We haven't had much rainfall, so the grass doesn't grow as quickly and we routinely maintain our lawn. But even with that considered, the grass is still being cut actively throughout the course of this video. You'll see me adjusting the height in order to change the height settings according to the length of the grass that I'm cutting. I've been using settings one, two and three, so anywhere between 25 millimeter and 35 millimeter in length. You'll also notice that I'm emptying the grass box routinely as well, but not as frequently as I would be if it was mid-season and the grass was growing in full fervent conditions. Now, as you can see from the overhead shots, there's a stark contrast in between the green front lawn and the not so green back garden. That's because we've not had much rainfall here in the UK at the moment. But if your lawn is looking exactly the same as this at home, don't be alarmed because your lawn is incredibly clever. It's very drought resistant. That yellowing is a case of the plants going into a dormant phase as soon as the rain starts falling and gets down into the root system, then it will reinvigorate the plant above. So anemic looking lawn will soon go back to green with the help of mother nature. So don't despair, but there are some things that you can do to improve your lawn if this is the case. And it's also an ideal opportunity to get rid of any dead thatch in your lawn. So you could either use a fine springtime rake to just ruffle up areas and remove any dead thatch and dying moss. Alternatively, you could give it a very light scarifying using a battery powered scarifier. That way, when it does rain again, your healthier grass has got space in which to grow into and takes place of any nuisance clover or moss which might be blighting your lawn. And then one thing to point out is that I'm adjusting the height settings, keeping my hand on the trigger. Please never do this yourself. Always immobilize your unit if you're going to change the height settings and trying to ensure the mower is constantly running throughout the whole course of this video just so you can see just how long that 4 amp hour 24 volt battery will run for. We're going to move over towards the orchard. I cannot believe that this is still going. Another thing to note as well is that the lawn's already quite low, so we've been cutting it on between one, two, and three. I'm amazed this is still going. So it's a good thing we're not filming on tape. The virtue of these compact mowers is that you can get into those awkward nooks and crannies. So if you've got intimate spaces of lawn or an awkward shaped lawn or large beds with curves and sweeps, you can navigate those with a more compact mower. I am honestly genuinely amazed. You know what, I expected it. I honestly expected it to run a decent amount of time. But this is just incredible. Well, we're at 30 minutes plus now, and we're still going, and we're still mowing. I am 
genuinely, genuinely gobsmacked with this. Are we at the end, or do I just slip? I just slipped. It's still going. I think that might be the end. No? I want it. Well, I want to eat out every last minute's worth, second's worth of performance. I'm genuinely, genuinely amazed. This is incredible. One battery. Incidentally, this battery only takes 60 minutes using the fast charger. Oh, are we at the end? This is pretty incredible as well. Look at that steel blade. You see how fine it's cutting those, those grass blades off into. So if you're using the mulching plug, what I want about that's what I mentioned earlier on. It will pulverize these even further with the mulching plug on because it's locking the collection bag void off. So the blades of grass stay in the blade a little bit longer so they get chopped incredibly fine and then distributed back on the surface. They break down very, very quickly and give your grass an organic feed. Let's see how much life is left in it now. I do want this to hurry up now because I need a wee. I need to go to the loo. Is that it? Wow, that's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Genuinely, genuinely did not think it would do that. Might, at a push, I thought it might do some of the pasture over the side. But we've done the front garden, we've done the back garden, we'll measure up in a second and we'll put the surface area of what we've mowed today. Obviously the length of the grass is probably around about two to three centimetres in areas. It's been on constant load, constant use, and we've managed to do all that on one charge. One battery, four amp hour battery in this 33 centimetre mower. Now, I don't really know what else to say. I think that's just done all the talking for me. Incredible, absolutely incredible. Now, if you're tired of that heave ho before you mow and you're fed up with the frustrations of fossil fuels and looking for a compact cutter, don't forget you can find out more about this mower and a whole variety of lawn mowers by checking out the link at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.